Hey, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thanks for coming back. I think we're on episode 16, I hope that's not wrong, of the uh, Ron Burgundy build. And uh, this week I had some time on the weekend. I was able to get the turbo kind of mounted in, the intercooler somewhat mounted. Well, no, the intercooler's not mounted. I was able to mock fit it kind of with some jack stands and, and uh, see where it was going to fit. That thing is a little bit bigger than I thought, even though it comes with all the dimensions on the website that I bought it from. But um, And I got the shifter mounted and the fuel cell mounted in the back. So let's jump right into it. I'll show you guys uh, some footage from doing each of those things and um, maybe just a wrap up at the end of uh, you know a little video of where the stuff is now and, and what it looks like. I'm looking at it right now but you're not allowed to see it yet. So here we go. hold pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna I gotta sit in it and see where it feels good and then see where it feels good to bang. Bang yeah. it is. Yeah. I'm gonna paint the bracket. Once I get it mounted. It'll be, that's like too far forward, isn't it? Mm-hmm. comfortable when I, I don't care where I park and reverse on it really. This thing's not showing anything. It's okay. Yeah, it's recording. I need to be able to like reach it when I am fucking harnessed in so tight I can't move, right? Or I'll be like, hey, can you put it in fucking die for me? <laughs> like, hey, just reach in and slap yeah, that slap thing Slap that back forward. For yeah, slap it back. I mean, that's pretty good. I don't want to hit this, though, either. Okay, fast. 
ass, dude. Remember that Italian I ordered this like two days ago? Yeah. <laughs> this just says fucking intercooler. It's funny. Looks like something belongs in the back of like a fucking big AC unit. It looks like a computer tower, doesn't it? Jeez. Okay, here we are back at the trunk with the fuel cell. This, uh, this fuel cell I've had actually for like four years and it's never been used, it's never been mounted, it's never had fuel in it. Um, it was for my Caprice back in 2017. It is a little bigger than I wanted to go on Ron Burgundy just because uh, it's mostly going to be a race car, but I figured what the heck, you know, 15 gallons. Um, I'm going to go in tank pumps, so I will be able to run, you know, the fuel system for, you know, long durations and be okay. So if I do decide to, to do like a 93 octane or whatever street tune, which is just, I mean, that's just radical in this car, but I do want to do that. I know it seems crazy, but, uh, well, it probably doesn't seem crazy to everyone, but most of the locals around here probably think I'm batshit crazy. But. So I'm going to do um, the Holly. Uh, in tank fuel pump module with twin uh, 450 pumps and I just mounted it with some uh, whatever this is rectangle tubing with some nut inserts top and bottom and it's in there it's it's in there it's centered and it's funny the latch isn't centered at the car you got to look at the license plate and the parachute mount but so that's in there um, those fuel pump modules are pretty cool. They go right in where the stock fill, fill uh, flange is. It's the same bolt pattern. Um, I just haven't gotten it here yet. And then here we are back inside the car and the shifter's mounted. And I just did the same thing. I got nut certs down there on the bottom and we're uh, nylon lock nutted to the mount and looks looks good. There's a little, I think there's a little clip of me trying to see where I want to put it. And you guys will see, you guys have already seen that, so. That looks good. Works awesome. It's nice and sturdy. Sweet. Put the bud heavy shift knob, of course. And then, out front here, the intercooler's not in there. Because uh, I got to make some end tanks and stuff. You guys saw that, so. But here we are, man. Look at this turbo. Looking good behind the grill, huh? I think that is pretty close to where I want to keep it. I might come down like an inch to kind of center it a little more, but I really need that height from the coat from the housing. The turbo housing so big um, for the intercooler in tanks that I needed to get it as high as I could to, to try to gain some ground clearance with the intercooler. So. Um, yeah, 
She's mounted up in there. I've only got it tacked kind of, but my, my goal I think is to run one intercooler pipe, you know, this way and then into the intercooler and then I'll backdoor the other end tank on the intercooler and, and be able to come up like, like, you know, like this. So nice short pipes, like two, two footer you know, pipes. And then I think the, the down pipe will be able to kind of run right along the header and the valve cover here and then exit down there. Um, you know, I'm not sure on which side of the frame yet, but yeah, we should be good to go. The hot sides and the other side will be like a little S bend, I think. Um, oh, the other thing was I was able to move the engine back one inch on those adjustable mounts, which was sweet. And there was enough slot in the transmission mount cross member to be able to just bolt everything back up. So I got the engine back, I think probably five eighths or three or three quarters of an inch rearward, which is nice. Move some weight back and also give me more room for the piping up here. So that was killer. Um, oh, we got the manual master cylinder bolted on there too, and the brake pedal. So we got some small stuff done, small gains. I kind of got another parts list I got to, to put together some for some materials. And um, I'm looking at the fuel injector stuff now. And I really need to maybe in the next video just inventory what I have because it's been, it's getting to be so long ago now that I've started buying parts. I can't even recall what I have and what I don't have yet. So instead of buying stuff twice, which is ignorant, I'll just see what I have and make a list and make sure I stick to what I need and not what I already have so uh, thanks for watching this week you guys Shut up. This is embarrassing. I, well I said to go up with it. So that's the up button. So hold on, show them what you were doing before. Well, was, you show me what you're doing. Dude, you told me to push it up, so I tried. <laughs> show me what you're trying to push it. <laughs> Pushing it. Oh, okay. There you go. So go up. That's good. You got to get it up high enough so it's not on the locks. So now you grab the red handle on the left. See the red handle up high? Yeah, pull it down. It's pretty rugged. Yeah, all the way. Keep going. And now you now you pull down on the black handle on this side with the right hand. This one. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> are you getting tired? <laughs> Show me that bicep, girl. <laughs> You got like another foot and then you can let go with your left hand. Cause there's no locks like that low. Well, you can you can <laughs> you can let off now with the left hand. You can let off with it. The left the left hand. There you go. That's good. Don't go all the way down with it. That's good. Good job. Let me see your hands, are they dirty?